This hymn to Lord Ganesha was written over 450 years ago. Through the centuries, it has introduced the new student to classical music in South India. It was composed and set to music by Purandara Dasa, a poet, a musician, a social activist and a religious reformer. Purandara Dasa and his colleague Kanaka Dasa spearheaded in Karnataka a revolution which spread across medieval India like a lit fuse. Purandara was a Brahman, Kanaka a shepherd by birth. This film is about the revolution they led, a revolution called Bhakti. Purandara Dasa was born Srinivasa Nayaka. He was a jeweler and money lender by profession. The story goes that a penniless Brahman had been importuning Srinivasa Nayaka for money to perform his son's thread ceremony. Innu illa idia. ಮಗನಿಗೂ ಪುನೈನ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ದುಡ್ಡಿಲ್ಲ ಆರು ತಿಂಗಳಿಂದ ಕಾಯ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ತಾವು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಓ ಬಾಯ್ಲಿ Humiliated, the Brahman went to Srinivasa Nayaka's wife, Saraswati, and asked for her help. Awa. Oh, innu illa idire no? Tai, yega nene nerwaag beku. Nan hengsu. Nandu anta hevkoli ke nan hatra yeni de. A mokti idhi ala. Nin taur mane do. Adhan kutru saak. I am a woman, said Saraswati. What do I have to call my own? Your pearl nose ring, replied the Brahman. As a gift from your father, it's yours to give. Well, let's go, Thayi. The Brahman took the nose ring back to Srinivasa Nayaka to pawn it to him. This is what they do. ಸರಿಯಾದ ಬೆಲೆ ಕೊಡ್ತೀರಾ ಇದನ್ನ ಯಾರು ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ನನಗೆ ಹೂ ಗೇವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಯು ಸರಿ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನ್ನೂರು ವರ್ಗಗಳನ್ನು ಕೊಡಬಹುದು ಆಗ್ಬಹುದ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಫರ್ ಯು ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾಯಿನ್ಸ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಮೂಗುತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೋರ್ ನೋಸ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಅದು ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಮುರಿತು ಒಳಗಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಐ ಹವ್ ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಅವೇ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರೋಕನ್ ನನಗೆ ಅದನ್ನು ತಂದು ತೋರಿಸು ಈಗಿಂದೀಗ ಶೋ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಈಗಿಂದೀಗ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ
Saraswati knew her husband's temper. So she decided to take poison. What is happening? Viprun gave Moguti Danuak Kotte Dev. Adu Vishad Badlan Sikdu. She told him about the Brahman. Vipra. The Brahman? Yelli Khoda Vipra. Where is the Brahman gone? Where shall I look for him? Et Khodanam Viprana Viprana Etta Podanamma Viprana Elli Hudukalamma Etta Podanamma Viprana Elli Hudukalamma Etta Podanamma Viprana Elli Kudukalamma Mutti na Muguti Mutti li Brahmana Mutti na Muguti Mutti li Brahmana Ikko egalandu maya vadanu Ikko egalandu maya vadanu this song, which describes Srinivasa Nayaka's anguish search for the Brahman, illustrates the new poetics that was emerging in India. Until then, poetry, written in Sanskrit, had only dealt with situations of timeless significance. The classical poet had remained impersonal and had aimed at creating a universal mood, or rasa. The new literature represented by this song, on the other hand, deals with the here and now. The poet speaks openly of an intensely private feeling or of an actual event in his life, making no effort to universalize the basic emotion or bhava. Convinced that God himself had come in the guise of the old Brahman to awaken him, Srinivasa Nayaka gave away his wealth and left with his family in search of spiritual enlightenment. Vai kuntha ke dari tori saiyya 
दारिया उदया दारी तोरी सैया आधार मूरुते Which is the way to the Lord's city? Show me the way. Balu bhavadanu bhavadi kattale yolu balu anjuta nadugi balalu tatirugi de hadiya kana de hole vanta dariya toro narayana. city of hampi the capital of vijayanagar the greatest of all medieval hindu empires Krishnadevara, the most remarkable of the Vijayanagar kings. His interest in spiritual matters had turned Hampi into a center of intense religious and philosophical activity. And it is to Hampi that Srinivasa Nayaka's search led him. This temple marks the spot where Srinivasa Nayaka met his guru, Vyasa Tirtha, a great sage in the Madhva tradition, whom even the emperor regarded as his teacher. The Bhagavad Gita declares bhakti, devotion, as one of the three paths that lead to salvation. Between the 6th and the 9th centuries, in the Tamil-speaking areas of South India, the Alvars, who sang of Lord Vishnu, and the Nayanmars, who sang of Lord Shiva, built bhakti into a movement of great social significance. A distinguishing feature of this movement is that for the first time in India, theology spoke in a language other than Sanskrit, the pan-Indian language of the holy texts. It spoke in the mother tongue of the local people. न च केवल तर्केण नानुमानेन किन्तु केवल आगम विज्ञेयो हरिहि नावेदविन्मनुते इति तैत्रीय स्तुतिः नैषा तर्केण मतिरापनेया इति काठकस्तुतिः नेन्द्रियाणि नानुमानं वेदायेवहि येनं वेदयन्ति The Bhakti movement in Hampi was led by Vyasa Tirtha and it is a tribute to his genius that he could guide two very different religious organizations at the same time. Apoorushayam vakyameva nasti nadadha vachyam 
Sadabhave Sarva Samaya Vimata Dharma Desidde On the one hand, Vyasa Tirtha headed a monastic organization called the Vyasa Kuta, which was renowned for its scholarship and academic eminence. The Vyasa Kuta conducted its debates in Sanskrit because Kannada, the language of the region and often the mother tongue of the Pandits themselves, was considered unsuitable for spiritual and philosophical discourse. Remote from the ordinary life of the people, these debates conducted by upper caste pundits were narrowly sectarian and frequently degenerated into arid scholasticism. In an effort to reach out to the masses, Vyasa Tirtha formed another loose congregation of people who called themselves Haridasas or the servants of the Lord. The members felt a spiritual kinship with each other and a close-knit group called Dasakuta, Congregation of the Servants, emerged. Unlike the Vyasakuta, the Dasakuta rejected considerations of caste, class and privilege. Its members wrote and sang in Kannada, the language of the ordinary people. Savinudi Veda Purana Shastangala Kivi Gottu Kanaka Dasa, a shepherd by birth and therefore considered of low caste, was a prominent member of the Dasakuta. Vadagudi Gandha Kasturi Parimalangala Gida Dele Pisikom Budu Ninadu Vadagudi Gandha Kasturi Parimalangala Gida Dele Pisikom Budu Ninadu Shadra Sadana Kenali Dadu Tajwe Aduruchi Gombudu Aruchi Ninadaya Maya Pasha the Baleola, the Siluki Ruvanta, Kaya Panchendri and Maya Pasha the Baleola de Siluki Ruvanta, Kaya Panchendri and Garun in Nau, Naya de Kanakana Badada di Keshavaraya, Nina de Naru, Swatantra Re Tanun in Nadu, Jeevana Ninadu. Kanaka, like many others of his community, was originally a warrior.
Kanaka lay wounded in the battle. He was in great pain. When he heard God call out to him, Come to me, said God, I shall relieve your pain. But Kanaka's pride would not let him yield. Kanaka, Kanaka, Ba. Yarnino. Nanu Devan. Devan. Yarnino. Beka the Hesser Nindaka. Hari Anu. Keshava Anu. Ba. Nana Dasanagi. Dasa. Each time Kanaka refused, his pain increased. Kanaka, Ba, Nan in a no Kareme Martin. Nan no size bullet. Nan does not. Kanaka, Ba, Nana does an agu. The low Karagata. How do you? Finally, unable to bear the torment, Kanaka surrendered to God. Hari, <sighs> Bhakti is total surrender to God. The devotee's relationship to God is that of the child to the mother, the beloved to the lover, the servant to the master. The object of bhakti is to prepare the heart to receive God's grace. For it may descend on a person without any warning, through the most trivial element in his everyday life. Thus God reaches out to the pawnbroker through a pearl nose ring, while the warrior receives divine grace through physical pain. Kanaka became a disciple of Vyasatirtha and the disciple profoundly influenced his guru's views on society, caste and religion. The following story is recounted by Purandara Dasa in one of his songs. One day, Vyasatirtha was about to distribute Tirtha or holy water after the day's worship. When he paused and asked, Kanaka yalli. Where is Kanaka? Kanaka? The pundits were offended. Kanaka! Vyasa Tirtha was actually giving a low-born shepherd precedence over the Brahmins. Vyasa Tirtha sensed the resentment and decided to prove Kanaka's true worth. Today you all have to eat this fruit unseen by anyone. Make sure no one sees you eating. Nivellaru, Nan Hale the Hage, Yarigu Kana the Hage, Nan Kotahan and Natin did it. Next day he asked if they had carried out his instructions. Kanaka Yaru Kanaka. I have not eaten the fruit, said Kanaka. Deuru. For wherever I went, I knew God was watching me. He gave Kanaka Naikano, Kanaka Dasa. Kanaka Nayaka became Kanaka Dasa. Why should Srinivasa Nayaka also not become a Haridasa? Thank you.
to become a Haridasa is not to renounce the world and become an ascetic. The Haridasa continues his life as a householder, but he channels his energies towards the perfection of his devotion. The Dasa visualizes his God in a form which best suits his own imagination and temperament. He adopts a new name, which declares his allegiance to his own chosen form of God. Thus Srinivasa Nayaka becomes Purandara Dasa, or the servant of Lord Purandara Vithala. He becomes a mendicant, going from door to door, collecting alms, singing hymns in praise of the Lord. His chief mission in life is to ensure that as many people as possible hear the Lord's praises every day. In this song, Purandara Dasa first thanks his wife for making him realize his true vocation. He then praises the Lord for electing him as his servant. ಆಯಿತು ತುಳಸಿ ಮಾಲೆ ಹಾಕುವುದಕ್ಕೆ ಅರಸನೆಂದು ತಿರುಗುತ್ತಲಿದ್ದೆ ತುಳಸಿ ಮಾಲೆ ಹಾಕುವುದಕ್ಕೆ ಅರಸನೆಂದು ತಿರುಗುತ್ತಲಿದ್ದೆ ಸರಸಿ ಜಾಕ್ಷ ಪುರಂದರ ವಿಠಲನು ಪುರಂದರ ವಿಠಲನು ಸರಸಿ ಜಾಕ್ಷ ಪುರಂದರ ವಿಠಲನು ತುಳಸಿ ಮಾಲೆ ಹಾಕಿಸಿದನು ಆದದ್ದೆಲ್ಲ ಒಳಿಕೆ ಆಯಿತು Sacred literature in Sanskrit is classified either as Shruti, that which is heard or revealed, or as Smriti, that which is remembered. Both these modes are too passive for the Bhakta, who seeks to possess his God and be possessed by him. He needs to speak, sing, dance, preach, cajole and convert. The two wandered all over the land. sometimes alone and sometimes in groups affirming in their songs the holiness of many places of pilgrimage for the bhakti movement brought about an important shift in hinduism in place of sacrificial fire rituals like yagna and homa conducted in protected enclosures by the upper castes it introduced worship in temples which were open to almost the entire range of society the abstract absolute god of the upanishads was replaced by a concrete personal god by their hymns in praise of temples like tirupati pandharpur and belur the haridasas literally mapped a sacred geography of the land the legends about these visits illustrate aspects of bhakti philosophy muyakke muyar teri tu ಜಗದಯ್ಯ ವಿಜಯ ಸಹಾಯ ಪಂಡರಿ ರಾಯ ಪಂಡರಿ ರಾಯ ಇನ್ ಪಂಡರ್ಪುರ್ ಪುರಂದರ ವಾಸ್ ಅಕ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಬ್ರೇಸ್ಲೆಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಐಡಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ಲಿ ವಿಪ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಹ್ಯುಮಿಲಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಪನಿಷ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾನಿಟಿ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಭಕ್ತ ಪಂಡರಿ ರಾಯ ಮುಯಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಯ ದಿ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಉಡುಪಿ prevented kanaka from entering the temple of krishna because of his low caste vada balan tulla maraya yentu maraya hogu 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 nan udupi krishna pa nodakka baha dur dinda bandinre ninu navaranga velilikke barlikku kurduva ninu entu jaati hogu 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 
ಪೂರ್ವಜನ್ಮದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾ ಮಾಡಿದ ಕರ್ಮದಿ ಪೂರ್ವಿಯೊಳು ಜನಿಸಿದನು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೂರ್ವಜನ್ಮದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾ ಮಾಡಿದ ಕರ್ಮದಿ ಪೂರ್ವಿಯೊಳು ಜನಿಸಿದನು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾರುಣ್ಯ ನಿಧಿಯನ್ನ ಕಾಯಬೇ ಕೈಯ ಹರಿ ವಾರಿ ಜನ ಭನೆ ಮುತ್ತು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾರುಣ್ಯ ನಿಧಿಯನ್ನ ಕಾಯಬೇ ಕೈಯ ಹರಿ ವಾರಿ ಜನ ಭನೆ ಮುದ್ದು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೇಂದು ಮುಖಿ ದ್ರೌಪದಿಯ ಮಾನವನು ಕಾಯ್ದು ರಾಕೇಂದು ಮುಖಿ ದ್ರೌಪದಿಯ ಮಾನವನು ಕಾಯ್ದು ಆಕೆ ಗಕ್ಷಯ ಬಿತ್ತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರಾಕೇಂದು ಮುಖಿ ದ್ರೌಪದಿಯ ಮಾನವನು ಕಾಯ್ದು ಆಕೆ ಗಕ್ಷಯ ಬಿತ್ತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೆನಾಕಿಯ ಸಖಿ ಉಡುಪಿ ಆದಿ ಕೇಶವರಾಯ ಸಾಕಾರ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೆನಾಕಿಯ ಸಖಿ ಉಡುಪಿ ಆದಿ ಕೇಶವರಾಯ ಸಾಕಾರ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೂರ್ವಜನ್ಮದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾ ಮಾಡಿದ ಕರ್ಮ ಪೂರ್ವಿಯೊಳು ಜನಿಸಿದನು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾರುಣ್ಯ ನಿಧಿಯನ್ನ ಕಾಯಬೇ ಕೈಯ ಹರಿ ವಾರಿ ಜನ ಮನೆ ಮುದ್ದು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಾರಿ ಜನ ಮನೆ ಮುದ್ದು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಾರಿ ಜನ ಮನೆ ಮುದ್ದು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಈವನ್ ಟುಡೇ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಡೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೈನ್ ಇನ್ ಉಡುಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ದಿ ಐಡಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಫೇಸಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವಾಲ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವಿಚ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಶೋಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಕನಕದಾಸ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ರೀಫ್ಯಾಷನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅ ವಿಂಡೋ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕನಕಸ್ ವಿಂಡೋ ಗೂಟ ನಾಮವ ಹೊಡೆದು ಗುಂಡು ತಂಬಿಗೆ ಹಿಡಿದು ಸಂಚು ಧೋತರವ ನುಟ್ಟು ದಾಟುಗಾಲಿಡುತ್ತ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಟು ಗಾಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾಷನೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಮೀಡಿಯೇಟರ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ನೋ ಇನ್ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಅ ಶೆಪರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಅ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಸೋ ಕ್ಲಾನ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರೀಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಇರೆಲೆವೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಅ ಸೋಷಿಯಲಿ ರೆವಲ್ಯೂಷನರಿ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ relentlessly kanaka and purandara attacked cant an empty ritual and thus provoked the wrath of the orthodox and the established kondu kondu namava teedi kondu adda diddi mudragalannu balidu kondinnu dodda dodda maatugalaadi dodda varend helikonda baddi dhagadi makkaliginnu vaishnava salluvude despite their close association the two had distinct personalities Apart from devotional hymns, Kanaka also composed epics in the classical mold. In one such epic, he describes a debate between two kinds of grain. Ragi, the staple diet of the working classes, and rice, the food of the learned Brahmins. At the end, the gods declare Ragi superior in taste and in durability. The social comment is sharp, but the meter and the idiom are conventional kanaka did not become a mendicant like purandara who turned his back on classicism and literally composed in the streets until purandara dasa's time music and dance were confined to the courts and temples classical music consisted of heavy complicated prabandhas written in ornate sanskrit the talas or rhythmic cycles were intricate mathematical exercises meant only for the elite 
Purandara Dasa took music to the streets and the streets dictated their own logic. Music had to accommodate itself to the rhythm of walking. Complex rhythmic cycles had to give way to simple crisp talas. He borrowed tunes from folk music. He borrowed meters from children's rhymes and women's songs. A new music was born. Padumanavana Pada, Paduma Madhupa Vemba, Padumanavana Pada, Paduma Madhupa Vemba, Adu Baluchanadu, Adu Baluchanadu, Madhukara Vrutti Yanadu, Adu Baluchanadu, Madhukara Vrutti Yanadu. Kaliga gajja kati nila vana na guna Kaliga gajja kati nila vana na guna Ala pi suta balu O laga madu vantha Ala pi suta balu O laga madu vantha Adu balu chanadu Adu balu chanadu Madhu karabrati yanadu Adu balu chanadu the exact structure of the music he created is not known. But he laid the foundations of Karnataka music and is known as Karnataka Sangeeta Pitamaha, forefather of Karnataka music. Most important of all, he wove music and devotion inextricably together, defining the character of music in the South even to this day. The great Karnataka singer Tyagaraja acknowledges Purandara Dasa as his guru, both in music and in lifestyle. He used the simple language of the people. Here is a song in which Purandara Dasa merely lists the excuses women will give for not offering alms. I am washing the pots. I am sweeping the floor. I don't know where the others have gone. I am feeding the baby on my lap. I cannot give alms, my hands are soiled and the children are crying, so please go away. I have to collect the rice from the attic. I have a stomach ache. I have my period and there is no one at home. The irony is gentle, the tone affectionate, and the language seems to emerge effortlessly from the day's domestic activities.
she has just shut the door, that wretched woman. The latch is still shaking. She has shut the door, lest the sins inside the house should spill out into the street. He died in 1564. Within a year of his death, the empire of Vijayanagar collapsed. The city of Hampi was razed to the ground, never to be inhabited again. Kanakadasa returned to his village and died there, probably in 1606. Within a few decades, political anarchy and the hostility of the religious establishment ensured that the legacy of the Dasakuta was forgotten. But in the early 18th century, a man called Vijaya Dasa saw Purandara Dasa in a dream and set about collecting his songs. It is to Vijaya Dasa that we owe the revival of the Dasa tradition. Starting around the 6th century in a corner of India, the passion of bhakti spread from century to century, region to region, spanning the Indian subcontinent. The religious impulse pouring forth first in Tamil, then in Kannada, then Marathi, Gujarati, Kashmiri, Bengali, Assamese, Oriya, Braj, Avadi, Punjabi. While Kanaka Dasa and Purandara Dasa were singing and dancing their god in Kannada, in other languages of India, other saint poets were singing and dancing. Ramanand, Namdeo, Kabir, Vallabh, Meera, Nanak, Chaitanya, Tulsidas, spreading the gospel of devotion and love, of human equality and divine compassion. तुलसीदास प्रेम बस श्री हरि देख विकल महतारी गद गद कंठ नयन जल फिर फिर गद गद कंठ नयन जल फिर फिर आवन कही Giridharanagara, 